Hi, I'm Sherry Davy, and I'm a stand-up comedian. Sherry! I actually saw a girl's thong sticking out above her lowriders this summer, and she was only 12, so I guess it was the training thong. Um, <laughs> I, I hate thongs. You know, did you know they make a maternity thong? Mm -hmm. I tried one on when I was pregnant. I looked like a kangaroo in a slingshot. <laughs> now, being a stand-up often involves a lot of travel. And let me tell you, going on the road with a baby isn't always easy. But Lily has been coming with me to work since she's three weeks old. I'm not an expert like photos or travelosity. I'm just a mum who travels on business with her child. So if you want some real tips on saving cash, your sanity, and finding fun stuff for the kids, then pack your bags for a trip as we hit the country's top-rated destinations to see just how family-friendly they really are with money. Good news and bad news. The good news is I just booked a last-minute gig in Atlantic City. The bad news is I only have one hour to pack. Oh, and you thought this show was going to have a lot of exotic locations? Well, Atlantic City has a lot of exotic dancers. Does that count? Now, working in a casino in Atlantic City with a very small child, or just spending time in a casino with a very small child, is not exactly my idea of a good time. Uh, it's going to be very difficult to find age-appropriate activities for the little miss here uh, that are close to our hotel, so it's a good thing we're bringing the car. I mean, there's always one of those little Ripley's Believe It or Not museums on the boardwalk, you know, that, where you can see, like, the world's largest turd or, like, a giant cockroach, but we live in Brooklyn. We can see this stuff on the street every day for free. Why would I pay ten bucks for it? Here's a tip. Always bring some cleansing fluids and some uh, sponges and rubber gloves with you because these hotel rooms are not as clean as they say they are, and at this age, the kids are into everything. <laughs> Do yourself a really big favor. Bring a humidifier with you because, you know, the air in hotel rooms is always so stale and dry. And I have my own little personal rule to keep my life stress-free. I try not to bring more than three or four toys at the maximum. Okay, so I don't heed my own advice. Well, here we are at the... Uh, Trendy Borgata. Checking out our room for the first time. Let's see. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at this place, Lily. It's very elegant, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Have a look around, kiddo. This is going to be our home for the next five days. Well, you know what? We're going to need a minute or two to freshen up because we're going to go out soon. So, uh, just need a minute, so... We'll see you very soon. Oh, hello, you're back. Well, come on in. I only needed a minute to get ready, and Lily needed a minute to make this place feel like home, which I think she's done. <laughs> I know, look at this place. A minute ago, it was elegant. I swear, being on the road with the toddlers like being on the road with Guns N' Roses, only uh, minus the booze and the broads. Oh, my God, you know what? Where is the baby in all this? There's the baby. Oh, you little cutie. You know what? You look like you really need to get out of here. I think she does too. See, that's the problem with these casinos, especially in Atlantic City or like places like Vegas. They're adult playgrounds. Now we need to go find a real playground. Welcome to Sand Castle Park in Ventnor. Now, this place is about five miles outside of Atlantic City, and I found it on the web, but it was also recommended to me by several of the waitresses in the hotel. When you want to find out about places to take your child, don't ask the concierge in the hotel. They're only going to recommend the touristy sort of adult locations. Ask the waitresses, because most of them are single mothers, so they know where all the good free stuff is, and uh, this is definitely one of them. <laughs> By the way, who was that uh, woman who took my child before? Oh, did somebody call the police? I don't see her anywhere. We're now in another one of my very kid-friendly destinations in Atlantic City, the boardwalk. Now, I love the boardwalk because it's full of energy and lots of people and lots of grotty little restaurants to bring your kids to eat at. This is definitely the place to come to get cotton candy, not cotton mouth, if you know what I mean. And it's also home to two of my most favorite kid-friendly hotels in Atlantic City, Resorts and the Taj. And what I like about the Taj is that it's located right next to the Steel Pier. 
where it's fun for the whole family from kids aged 5 to 15. It's, let me tell you something though. It's a place where you can easily dump a couple of hundred bucks like the casino in like less than an hour. But you know what? When you leave the steel pier, you'll all be smiling. Now to me, pigeons are just flying rats, but she loves them. I hear that the aquarium in Atlantic City isn't that bad, so uh, let's give it a shot. It's getting a bit chilly. Uh, we're here at the Ocean Life Center in Historic Gardeners Basin. And just to let you know, too, that you can get here with the Jitney, which is the local bus, uh, sort of like the special ed bus. It's kind of a small little blue bus. It takes you anywhere in Atlantic City for only $1.50. Very much worth it. And by the way, you can bring your stroller on the Jitney. Mm, very kid-friendly. Look, Lily, look. Look, yeah, this is what I want you looking at. Yeah, poisonous, venomous fish. This is perfect for children. Lovely. Okay, now this is the ultimate mummy test. An aquarium, but does it have a touch pond? And yes, it does. Perfect for the little kids. Anemones, other dangerous things for them to finger. It's fantastic. All part of being a kid, touching the crabs. Ooh, I don't know about that. You know, I'm getting really hungry for red lobster right now. What's down there? Is that a sea anemone? Is that what that is? We've touched those before. It's an urchin. Urchin. All right. Another deadly, horrible fish, right? We're looking at these dangerous, venomous moray eels. Are, th are these the same eel that they serve at the sushi places? They look good, but they look just the moray. When as soon as I hear moray, I think death, you know? Oh, look, she's found herself a little friend. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I hear that Atlantic City is great for meeting people. Where? Now here's my ultimate mummy test. They say this place is kid friendly, but let's just see if there's a changing table. Oh! There is a baby changing station, yes! Xanadu! Well that was a successful little trip. Definitely worth the seven dollars. I had no idea there was this much to do for children in Atlantic City. Well, who knows? Maybe this trip wasn't such a disaster after all. I think Mummy's little devilish plan of wearing her out is working. Well, I've only got a half hour left to get ready. Thank God there's going to be a hairstylist there. Well, who knew there was so much to do in Atlantic City for the kids, right? I mean, between the aquarium, the park, and the boardwalk. It's definitely been a fun-filled day. Oh, well, I better get cracking. Gotta go get dressed. See you at the show. Bye.